Hello, my name's Nikki Rothwell. I am a subject leader and teacher of product. Under the umbrella Art and Design, you'll be studying the AQA. Students are assessed based on two components. Component one, your personal investigation, and component two, your externally set assignment. Both of these are worth 96 marks, and component one is worth 60%, and component two is worth 40%. Component one, you start in the summer term of year 12 and it concludes in January of year 13. This is based around your own personal investigation and interest. It is a non-examined assessment known as an NEA and it is set and marked by the centre, which is myself, and moderated by AQA, which is your exam board, during their visit to the centre. This normally takes place in June. In February of year 13, you are set your externally set assignment. This means the exam board sets a question or a theme or topic and you are to respond to this. The preparatory period of this is around 40 hours with a 15 hour supervised exam to create your final response. Whilst it is also a non-examined assessment, which means, again, that it is marked by the centre myself and moderated by AQA, the exam board. The 15 hour supervised exam is not like an ordinary exam where you sit in an exam hall. Instead, you are based in the classroom and you will be creating your work under exam conditions. So no talking to one another, no making eye contact. However, there will be no paper exam for this. All you are, are creating your own resolution, your own prototype, your own piece of work within that set time. Nor are you expected to complete it in one go. It is set over a number of days. That way it gives a chance for the materials to dry and also it gives you a chance to rest in between. Because it is a practical subject, it does take time and effort. What's lovely about these assessments are that essentially it is like having a therapeutic exam. You will not find any exams like this and you'll find by the end of it that you really enjoyed it and you'll be really pleased with the outcome that you have produced. Being a cross-curricular department means that we have a whole range of In normal circumstances we would be going to galleries, museums, design studios, on this slide, what you can see are the different opportunities of subjects that you might offer. This is just a small selection of the different things that you could be looking at. You can essentially go into any field using art and design. You just have to be creative in the way that you look at putting it onto your CV and resume. You might be a little confused as to why we've changed our course focus from Edexcel on this slide, you can see the differences between the two courses. On this slide, you can see that you have got three lessons a week of product design, which each lasts 90 minutes long. This gives you a total of four hours, 30 minutes of product design a week. You are expected to complete five hours of independent study for each of your subjects, and that is the same for product design. You will also have an additional lesson in the workshop, which will most likely be on a Wednesday afternoon. This will be counted as one of your 90 minutes of independent study time, giving you a total of three hours, 30 minutes left of independent study time. Take into account the workshop lessons and the independent study plus your lessons. It comes to a total of nine hours, 30 minutes of product design that you'll be studying each week. So now I'm going to go through some of the frequently asked questions. How much time will I be in the workshop? It will be entirely dependent on the Can I work in the workshop or classroom in freeze? We for you. Next question is, is there much homework? You will be expected to purchase a number of mandatory equipment to help with your study of the course. I will explain these on the upcoming pages. However, if you need any financial help to cover the cost of equipment, trips, materials, please speak to student services where they will be able to support you with any queries. This is a mandatory list of equipment which will enable you to complete work. 
suggested home based equipment now this is not mandatory so this brings us on to the summer assignment the summer assignment is thus this page is just a printer friendly so my final note to say is i guess i will see you hopefully in september